that really is uh, exposing himself or herself as not really uh, befitting of the title citizenship. Uh, democracy is not uh, laxity or chaos. And so democracy, properly defined, should not include in discipline. Uh, democracy, uh, working on basis of rule of law, should function with uh, citizens' rights acknowledged, uh, fundamental human rights respected, freedom of thought and expression. Yes, there might be a bit too much noise on the airwaves, but the laws are there uh, in place to ensure that uh, when you talk out of turn, uh, you might be disciplined by the law, under the law, not military. When you talk of military discipline, uh, it's in the barracks. Uh, you want all the country to be put in the barracks? Then I say, perhaps uh, you, you, are not, uh, you are not confident in your, yourself. Yeah, Will you sacrifice your right of expression uh, to uh, just being fed like a, a kept with all due respect, animal? Huh? You want to be put in a golden cage as you sit here, human being. Just because you are in a golden cage every morning, you are fed with something and you are denied the right to express yourself, what you think and what you want to say. Is that what you're, you want to say? So the comparison shouldn't happen. We believe we can have democracy with development. Uh, we can have democracy with development. That's what I believe is evolving in Ghana, and we should sustain it. Sure. Respecting the law uh, and equality before the law, uh, demanding accountability of our governors. Nobody, nobody, whatever the president or however big the person is, should feel uh, entitled to talk down to anybody, not in this country. Uh, so please, we shouldn't compare ourselves with people just looking at the uh, in economic indicators. But if you'll be surprised that the freer people are, perhaps the more economy they even make for themselves. It's just that uh, we suffered the, a, a bit of ups and downs. But we are coming out of the woods, and we should sustain that, this move and put ourselves on a trajectory that would give us both the economic benefits as well as the benefits of human rights. Huh? Everything should be defined on basis of human rights under the law.